is the most dramatic victory. Victory, what a victory! This is an amazing win. Well, that's it. What an unbelievable finish. After a thriller in the fifth ODI of the series, where we saw South Africa win by a mere run, the outing in the seventh ODI of the Carlton and United series between South Africa and New Zealand proved to be another enthralling encounter. The venue this time, the Gabba. New Zealand had lost to Australia in the sixth ODI. Their chances of making the final look bleak after only beating South Africa in the opening game of the series. The Proteas had won three out of their four outings in the series and looked favourites at this stage. New Zealand was seeking revenge and had everything to play for in this game. Stay tuned for an exciting duel. Oh, good shot. Beautiful drive. That one's flying away to the fence. Oh, what a start for Kluzner. Into the fence it goes, and South Africa are off to a good start. No wicket for eight. Oh, good shot. That was beautiful timing again. Off the back foot and flying away to the fence. The Kiwis are going to have to just tighten up a little bit. Yes, well, it's beginning to hurt a wee bit now, actually. <laughs> in the air and into the gap. Well, they've got four men in the circle out there. That was played off the back foot in the air. But uh, I think just a little luckily there for the South Africans, for Kirsten in particular, it went straight into the gap and it's gone to the fence. Oh, he's whacked it. That's a short one and he has pulled that one away wide of mid on for four. What a good shot that was. Well, that's a classic as well. They've got a man out on the fence at deep square. That's it. Seeing is believing. That's a lovely shot, straight down the ground. That'll go to the fence as well. well that's his 50. So Klusner really has played well. This experiment has worked. Klusner sent up the order to open the batting with Kirsten, and he scored a half century in just 52 balls. Bolim, yes, he's dragged that one back onto the stump, so that's the end of Klusner. Again, I think just a little bit too close to be trying to run it away down to backward point. But, uh, well, he's played very well. Uh, it's beautifully placed by Cullis. And very well timed also. Just gave it a little nudge. Oh, good shot. What's more, uh, Kirsten, with that extra run, has brought up his 50. That is a monster. Kluzner has been the man with the power during the morning. Jax Callis has followed him. Yeah! Oh, yes, I think he's got him. Is that uh, off the bat? Of course it is, yes. I, uh, I thought there was a deflection there and uh, a little bit of a noise. He went to play it. Hardly any appeal. The risky business, that from the Kiwis. And uh, you can see a little shake of the head there. I think Callis was just standing in, in, uh, in the hope that he may get away with it. But uh, umpire McQuillan there just raising his finger. Oh, that's it. That's high in the air. It's either going to be caught or it's going to go just over the top, is it? Yes, you won't catch those. Nudges it into the gap and that's 100. That's very well played, Gary Kirsten. That's his eighth century. He's first against New Zealand. That is beauty. The remarkable thing about today is that every time they've gone for a shot, which has been just about every ball, they've hit it off the middle of the bat. Got one. And Chris Harris is going to run all the way from 
the bowling crease where he's finished his follow through out to the fieldsman who is also running in because there haven't been too many bright moments for New Zealand so far today. There have been a lot of bright moments for the television viewers and for the spectators. Well, he deserved one a bit easier, Dion Nash, and he's got one here. He's made uh, a good job of holding on to it. Brilliant piece of action in the previous over to effectively save a couple of runs. But that's a straightforward catch, gratefully accepted. As is the applause for Gary Kirsten, because this has been a fantastic effort. To himself. And that is, let's make sure I get us through there. He brings up his 50, Hansi Cronier. 43 overs, it's 4 for 248. That's in the air. This should be out court. Yes, it's covered all right. Yes, they don't drop those. So Hansi Cronier trying to get another one of those uh, sixes away. Unfortunately, that time, not quite getting it in the middle of the bat. It really just went high in the air, and uh, it was nicely taken. That's in the air. This could be caught. Got him. Yes, that's well done. He went to chip it away. Nash is down there at deep, but we can actually move pretty well. Had to go quite a long way to his right. It was a good solid chip, and uh, Nash took the catch well. It hasn't been a quiet reintroduction for Dion Nash into the international arena. He's been peppered out there on the mid-wicket fence. And he's taken his second good catch. He's done quite well by and large, really. And this is a pickup shot for Jonty Rhodes. That was the area you're talking about, Tony. Didn't quite get it fine enough. Got too much bat on it, in fact. Just enough for Dion Nash to run around, take a very, very comfortable catch. Right, Simcox on strike. Oh, he's in it straight. He loves that area straight down the ground. And what's more, it's gone to the fence for four. That time to mid-wicket. That time it's wide of the fieldsman. Will it get to the fence? And another boundary. Oh, that's good hit. Very well played. Oh, well played. Very good shot. That's very, very well played. That was exactly where uh, I suppose most of the batsmen would have said, if I can get it over the top of the fine leg man who's up saving one, well, I've got four. This is a very, very clever cricket shot again. It's almost premeditated because it was a difficult line to play that shot, but the length was good. 298. Highest score is 300 on this ground. He's hit that straight down the ground. They're not going to get there. Will they come back for the second? Yes, they're trying for the 300. It's going down to the other end. Yes, they've equaled the highest score. So, South Africa have made six for 300 off their 50 overs. That's a good performance, a very big target there. This is the way the card looked. At the end, 300 for six, and it was simply brilliant to watch. Some great strokes there. Kirsten, 103. Klusner, a 50. A wonderful opening stand between that pair. Callis, 31, and Cronier, 55 from 47 balls. Some good hitting at the end from Rhodes, Pollock, and Simcox, who took the final tally to 300. Run rate exactly six and over. The bowling figures tell a tale, nothing to write home about there for New Zealand. Two for 41 from Harris. He did a good job in the context of a high scoring innings. Vittori had 46 off his seven overs. Astle 42 from five and Macmillan 27 off his five, but he did pick up two wickets. So a big task for the Kiwis. Join us after the break for the run check. That's a good ball that's gone for four. Now that's uh, a case where Clues has allowed himself to be sucked in simply through annoyance. And that's safe over the infield and it's four. That's uh, a very good straight because they brought the man up from Deep Pine Lake. Simcox is down there now, but uh, he's a bit too fine for that. He's just taken the catch to get the first wicket. Well, that's well played, straight over the top. Didn't quite get it off the beat of the bat, but uh, it's gone over the top of Midon's head, and he's hit well enough. That's exactly what the doctor ordered. Good shot. Well struck. Very well struck. That's gone like a rocket. 
Obviously made a decision that drinks break to get on with it. Matthew Horn is. That's got him. Big thick edge, Nathan Astor walks. Dave Richardson, a comfortable catch. That's the end of him. Alan Donald should be happy. He's got the breakthrough. It was an important one to get this partnership out of the road. South Africa. Very happy with the progress so far. Not very well. Alan Donald's got another one. I don't think there was a signal. He just bowled an absolute beauty. Stephen Fleming had to play at it. He's gone the cover drive a little bit early for it. It's what he's down for. Isn't that great? That is a super catch. The slip field's been good though he is. I don't think it's started to push off to go back to his left. Gone. Matthew Horn is gone for 42. Just trying to loft the ball, just trying to chip it away over the infield. And uh, Jacques Callas has taken the catch. Well, he had made his mind up, Matthew Horn, that Jacques Callas had to go. He was the part-time bowler. He's not a regular at the bowling crease, although he know he can bowl. It's a good piece of bowling, too. That's it. Another one down. Just miss hit that one straight to mid-wicket. And uh, they don't drop them. Not little lollipops like that. So, uh, unfortunately, that's the, the end now of Harris. Caught by Macmillan. It's his second catch off the bowling of Callis, and he made 10. And so New Zealand now really are in trouble. Have another look at it. I don't think it was a slow ball. Callis squeezed Matthew Horn for room. Now he squeezed Chris Harris for room. He's uh, got that sweep right into the gap. And he really did have to uh, get almost behind that ball and get it on its way quite fine. That's a good shot. There's the big one. Is it going to be caught or is it going to go over the top? It's coming down. Oh, it's hit the board. Well, that's six because it's right down there. That's a very, very high hit. Well, we thought so. He went after him. He smashed it miles. It went up a long, long way. They thought it was all. They thought it was going to land in their left, I think, up there. That's in the air, and it's going down towards third man. This will go all the way. Yes, it's over the top, and uh, Simcox down there hurdling the rope, and then uh, some of the advertising boards. I think just for a second he thought he might uh, try and drag that one down. And oh, I tell you what, he's hit that one. That's gone way over the top of square cover. You won't see many better shots than that. To tell you more about it, Richie Benno and Ian Smith. One of the more remarkable things I've ever seen because it was quite deliberate. Sometimes you get a batsman who can slice the ball away and it'll go for four, very rarely for six. That was a deliberate hit. He aimed it at that spot square of the wicket. That good shot. Just like that. So difficult. And has just gone away over the rope. Only just made it though. <laughs> well, that's quite clever. He picked that as the slower ball. Did he have to go now? And is gone, I would say. Goodbye. Well, that's a good shot. Straight down the ground and over the top two. Lovely shot. Well, Perore, he's a good player, isn't he? Comes in right from the word go and he gets it going. Oh, full tosses don't work, that's for sure. That's one for four. And I tell you what, there are a few New Zealanders out there with uh, those Kiwi flags. And they're starting to get quite excited about this. 
Well, that's flying away. That's exactly what they needed, a boundary. And they've got it, boy, and they're loving it in the aisles. There are Kiwis dancing up there. They really thought it was all over. It's not yet. Luzner. Once again, the sweeper coming in. Well, they're going to have to be so careful with their throwing because uh, a lousy throw can uh, make the difference here yeah, between restricting the team to one. 44 to get, 29 balls remaining. Oh, he's got that away. That'll go to the fence for four. What a good shot. That is an attempt at Yorker, slightly offline, and it's beautifully played by Perori to the fence for four. Yep. Got away on the onside. They'll be looking to come back for the second. They're running. No, there's a mix-up. Got it away, and oh, that could have so easily have gone for four as well. Just the single, nine off the over, seven for 265. Oh, that's uh, a nick the other way, but uh, certainly third, third man area is covered. In the air, oh, that's bad luck, straight to mid-wicket. Well, flicked away on the onside. What an innings this has been. Perori caught by Simcox off the bowling of Donald for 67, and he scored those 67 in 46 balls, and he really has taken New Zealand to a position where they've got just a slight chance of winning, and he'll get a standing ovation, that's for sure. Wonderful innings. Oh, this will be close. Yes, I think he's got him. This will be interesting. The batsman seems to think he's got home. And, uh, well, what's, uh, what's happening out there? Donald's down. Is he just tired, perhaps? Or did he get hit on the shin or something? Let's have a look at it. Well, if uh, he does get back, Nash, it's because Simcox threw the ball into the ground first. It wasn't a direct hit on the full, it was a bounce hit. And I think that's what it what has saved them. The fact that it wasn't directly from the arm onto the stumps, it was a bounce. Let's have a look. Yes, he's okay. this over it's turned out to be a really useful over a wicket yes, that's uh, that's well played and uh, well fielded too on here coming in there and uh, restricting it to one Down to third man. Donald the fieldsman. Oh, look at that throw. Fizzing in over the bales. Inside edge. Donald again after it. He's doing some work. Down he goes and up he gets again. Uh, two more. So this over so far not too bad. Down too thick quickly there. That was a pretty ordinary effort by Cronier. Off the pad. That's the one you need to get a bit of bat on. Get it away nice and fine. He's got it. Uh, he's got it away, but he 
he's uh, also kept the strike. So the end of the over, it's eight for 276. As you mentioned that Australia scored 23 in their last two overs. And back for the second they come. Every single run counts here. Oh, he's hit this one straight down the ground. That's a lovely shot. One bounce and uh, was it over? <laughs> he was ready for it, all right. And uh, they missed the stumps and got through for one. <laughs> well, that's right off the splice of the bat. Back to the stumps and they're coming back for the second. <laughs> that appealing. <laughs> He's not happy. I've never seen Richardson go off like this before. He's normally Mr. Cool. Oh, the Kiwis are getting the chant now. That's what's being chanted out. Kiwi. Over the top, four. That's four. But it's going to get there. No, it's not. He, oh, well fielded. Was he touching the rope as he touched the ball? Well, we're a long way away down this end. And I think it was probably okay. But Tory on strike. Well, they're running again. And once again, they've missed the stunts. <laughs> well, they've got through 13 off the over. They need 12 to win. Oh, he's smashed that one. They'll get two here. Yeah, that's two of the 12 off the first ball. Now, Pollock doesn't want to bowl any no balls or wides there either. And that's the other thing that he's got to be very careful about. Six twos will do. Good ball. Right. So that's three of two deliveries. They need 12. Runs this over. That's well bowled, and a very, very calm McMillan simply takes the ball at extra cover. Four and a six will do, a couple of sixes. Oh, that's a wide. Oh, he's missed the stumps as well, and by signalled. Oh, that's got away, that's four, that's six. Oh, it's hit the line, it's hit the line, I can't believe it. It was going to within an inch. Get ready, Fieldsman. And down the non-strikers in. Vittoria will be running no matter what. Here we go. He said it high. He's going to be caught. This is going to be caught out. And drop it, will he? Oh, he's got it. He's got it. He's taken the catch. Well, that's it. What an unbelievable finish. Kluzner in the deep has run around and made the catch. And, well, such a good hit as well. The two Kiwis are out there and they are absolutely distraught. So another exciting finish in this series. New Zealand falling just two runs short. A great innings from Nash with 38 from 31 to bring this game to a climactic finish. Horn put up a good start, contributing 42. But Chris Cairn, 64 from 53, and Adam Perori, 67 from 46, made the match an absolute thriller. The pick of the bowlers was Donald with four wickets. Man of the match, though, went to Kirsten with an immaculate 103. Join us next time for another great instalment of Great Finishes. That's very well played, Gary Kirsten. And Donald's got another one. Oh, I tell you what, he's hit that one. Oh, he's got it! He's got it! He's taking the catch! <laughs>